Hey Libra, hey you guys. So welcome back, my name is Summer and today I'm going to do an energy read for you guys, your sign, the week of, well, the rest of April, which it's just like a, a week left, but nevertheless, we're here. So um, to honor the theme um, of the reading, I'm going to use my sexual tarot deck and I don't know all the meanings yet. So, um, I've got my notebook here and then we'll get into traditional tarot and everything like that. <clears throat> but let's get started. So Libra, this is your overall energy of whoever matters of the heart, whoever you're connecting with, whoever you're inquiring about. Okay. You got the knave of swords let me see if i can just back it up here there we go so um if you can see she's got her back turned towards him and he's sitting down and what this signifies is biting it says enemies of the couple are both inside and outside of it what they should do is look at each other because vigilance does not distract from pleasure and pleasure does not distract from vigilance. So what I get from this is that I feel like somebody may be not so happy that you're together or you may not be so happy that some your, uh, your partner is with someone else. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you, this is for outsiders um, bringing drama into your world or not happy that you're together. Like you guys have some enemies that are bitter about this relationship. That um, also signifies the, the magic of the bitter almonds that she's holding in her hand. Someone is very, very bitter about this relationship, okay? Next, we have for the person that you're inquiring about, whoever it may be, their energy they're bringing is the Ten of Wands. And this is all about penetration. This talks about partnerships should be equal, not only equal sexually, but in general. And uh, let's, let's read the, the saying, but I do believe it signifies something of the sort of, for example, in sex, sexual encounters between you guys should satisfy both partners and not just one. So maybe someone is bitter about that or maybe somebody is not being sexually satisfied. Let's look. Ten of Wands. Where are you at? There we are. Okay. Penetration. The power of man meets the power of woman. Success in love must satisfy both partners. So again, um, reciprocation, going the extra mile. Maybe one partner is not equally exchanging emotions or sexual encounters with the other person. Maybe one person is more selfish than the other. But it does say, um, if you want to break through this, success will come from, from both partners being satisfied. So they are over you in that sense. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So what's going on with Libra for the rest of April? What is going on with Libra for the rest of April? Regarding matters of the heart. What should they know? What's going to happen? What energy are they bringing? And I'm going to start with this one already shuffled. <clears throat> there we go. Libra for the rest of April. Matters of the heart. What's going on? What should we know? What energy are you bringing? Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment.
strength, and nine of pentacles in reverse. One more, please. Okay, so I do feel like this relationship you have had to find um, an immense amount of strength with. I do feel like someone brought inner or uh, drama to the situation or drama out like outside forces brought drama to this relationship is what I'm seeing. A lot of people may have not wanted you together. However, you were each other's wish fulfillment. So you, I, I, and I, I want to say sneaky, but there's no sneaky energy in here. What I get is that you guys had to move hella, hella slow, but didn't want to. Maybe you guys were married and going through a divorce and wanted to be together, so you had to do it on the down low. But I do see that for the rest of April, you guys are, whatever you guys just went through, you're moving into calmer waters with this person, okay? And you have two toads. You have two frogs in your reading. Hmm. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups, please. Ooh. Wow. Two Nine of Cups. And two Six of Swords. Wow. Wow. Okay, so yes, I do feel like with this clarifying, all of these cards clarifying the Nine of Cups, I do feel like one of you or both of you were in a situation that you walked away from. You wanted to change. You desired something more meaningful than what was going on, what your present moment is. So you walked away from somebody. So you could have this Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. Somebody was emotion. Somebody now is emotionally making you very, very happy. Somebody that you feel like may be a twin flame, or somebody you feel like you want to get married to. If it's not, if you guys haven't talked about marriage, I feel like this is you leaving a marriage for your wish fulfillment, and to come into happiness, to leave stressful situations, to come into calmer, easier waters. Moving on to something better, like a very welcomed relief of time, uh, relief of troubled times. You're fulfilling your dreams. I do feel like you guys have to travel to see each other, and you guys are even talking about like relocating, moving in together in the future. Um, but you guys are about to go through very, very positive changes. Okay. So let's see. Uh, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, please. Yes. Moving towards your hope, your inspiration. You're looking into the future now with optimism and taking back control of your life. You're now, um, again, in calmer waters and happy changes and a relief. So, um, moving on to something better is very persistent in this read and happy or uh, relief from challenging times so whatever you guys went through um to get away from past partners um it's getting better like there is hope there's happy 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 changes this is a a love a relationship that is going to move mountains let's get six of swords okay yeah, it says um, you ha you've had challenges with the Ace of Winter um, along the whole way. And now you guys are moving on from it. And it says don't be, deterred, don't be deterred anymore by these challenges. What other people have been talking about. What other people have been saying. Whatever people have been threatening you with. It, it's moving on. You're getting out of that. You're going to have much, much more positive calming relaxing time together um it's like you guys are both um guarding yourself from whoever has been mentally draining you and and challenging you with oh 
they must have made you very unhappy or they are very unhappy about you leaving them and you being with this person is what I see. I, I feel like this is not necessarily a triangle, but your other person you're leaving feels like it is, okay? So let's see how your person, um, what they're bringing to this <clears throat> in the rest of April. What is the person they're inquiring about? What are they going to do? How are they going to act? What are they going to bring? Their energy, please. Okay, yeah, they are sneaking away from their partner. They're grabbing their clothes, not caring if they're leaving something behind. They're just like, peace. And to your, uh, to their partner, they're leaving. It, it looks like they're being sneaky. But I feel like that's the only way they felt like they could go about it. Yeah, walking away from a situation that was an endless battle, that was a constant conflict, that was constant fighting. Um... There was no, there was no justice in the situation. Somebody was always getting their, the, there was just a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of hurt words, a lot of mean words. Moving on towards something better. They've been saving up their money and they are ready to work on things with you. They have just been kept bogged down by this other person. So now they are working hard, saving money to possibly relocate to you or for you guys to get a place together. But they are working very, very hard to get to you. <clears throat> to bring you this new passionate beginning, this page of wands, they feel a lot of passion for you. So they're working day and night. And I feel like um, the reason why this energy came up today is, is because maybe you guys just had to go a few weeks without seeing each other because of the circumstances or because they need to, um, you know, work and, and work around the clock to save up money. Or maybe they just work a lot in general, you know, but I feel like it was mainly the situation that was hindering you. Yes. They want to marry you. They feel like you are it. You're the soulmate. They're coming to you. And and way faster now. They're wanting to um, move in together. Maybe merge households. Maybe you guys both had children together. Maybe that's where all the drama was coming from. I don't see any legal stuff here. Not yet anyway. But um, this is very good. This is a very good relationship. Whether it had, Whether you left your partner with bad intentions or not whether you snuck away from them or not i don't really know what that scenario is i just know they're pissed off um but you have two four of wands here so you guys are definitely getting married you're definitely moving or relocating together and you want to marry them and they want to marry you they you both want to reciprocate this you both feel happy and passionate together you guys are going to be stable, and I really do feel like this is a twin flame connection. Um, you guys are extremely um, re, re, like making a whole new life together, a whole new rebirth, like completely starting from scratch. Um, like this is a fertile time for you guys. It's like you guys are giving birth to exactly what you want. You figured it out, and now you guys are charging ahead and. I do see that your plans, um, there's change and transformation in the mix at this moment. And uh, they, it should happen in about four weeks, if not sooner. Let's get some clarifiers for these, which I don't feel like we need many. But let's see here. Sneaking away from arguments. Let's, let's clarify that. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so you swept this person off their feet. They were in a situation they hated. They once did love this person, but that that is long and over. They did nothing but battle this person 24-7. Um, 
and now they're moving towards you with an open heart, offering you a new beginning of an intimate relationship. Wow. Two cups. Um, I feel like you swept this, this person off their feet. Like you guys can't even stay grounded. You're swept away in like a love story. And it's like almost like you you guys are running off together. It's kind of what I'm getting. I'm not even kidding. It sounds like a fairy tale. Like y'all are sneaking away. So. Oh yeah. Okay, so your person who you're inquiring about Libra their relationship was um, very unemotional. Okay, and I do see there was children involved. But there was a lot of harsh words, a lot of fighting. Like this relationship probably should have ended a long time ago before it got so toxic. And you guys had some delays with this because of the their their person they were with was so oh my god i don't even know how to explain it just very not any emotion just very cutting with words just very on a pedestal just would go off on anybody at the drop of a hat they were a little too truthful and mean with their words and this is mainly what caused the, ob the, the challenge and objectivity in your relationship. So let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so this is you guys. Um walking away from anything that was having you down in life um, for a long time I felt like you felt powerless in this situation and you just had a lack of, of self-confidence that kept you from moving forward kept you in this trap um, but now you guys are um, working together passionately diligently day by day it is asking you with this card to have patience because it's all coming very soon. You will be very satisfied. But plan your next steps. And I see like I feel like you guys already are, but it's like for the rest of April, you need to step it up a notch, okay? So let's move these aside and see what is going to happen um, as the outcome for the rest of April. Whoop. Try not to get my cards mixed up because I kind of got same suits and out. Or same decks. Rest of April, please. What is going to be the outcome of this situation? Is there anything we need to know? What will be the outcome of this energy? Releasing the devil. Releasing this toxic person that you have had in your life. Interesting. Releasing somebody that was, and I feel like this is for your energy, Libra. You're releasing this devil in your life. Could have been a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. They could just really take on this energy. Somebody that probably wasn't good with money. Constantly kept you guys in debt. Somebody that when they did get paid, they hoarded their money. You were expected to pay bills, but they could go buy what they wanted to buy. So you never felt stable in your finances. And somebody that was very stingy wasn't honest about money. Um, somebody, again, that, that plays around with debt like it's nothing. Um, could have stole from you, but I'm not really getting that energy. But sometimes that can represent that. Um, and also, they just weren't stable. They, they claimed they were stable at the beginning. And maybe they were or they seemed that way. 
But then, like, family and other things got in the mix. Maybe your kids, maybe you guys had a family together, and it just all just... Um, so they weren't really bringing you stable financial stability and comfortability. And I do, even though this isn't an emotion card, I feel like they didn't bring you much emotion energy. Like, I'm, I think when they did bring you emotional uh, reciprocation or energy, it was like, as you should be so lucky to, to have me. Or, you know, you're, like, you should be lucky they're giving you attention. <clears throat> what else well, <laughs> this so you're leaving this devil finally getting your mate finally making your break for it <clears throat> no longer um, making a decision or I mean no longer um, going within you already have your answer I feel like you were in the hermit mode you were going in and meditating and finding out who you truly were and realizing it's time to move on could be dealing with a virgo or somebody that is taking on that energy final outcome the sun with the ace of wands and the judgment card awesome so yeah you're not stuck anymore with this devil with this toxic energy Somebody that really uh, just gave you a lot of anxiety and did nothing but bring cloudy, cloudy energy around. I'm also getting <clears throat> that they were very hermit all the time. Like they stayed inside, maybe liked darkness, wanted to keep the curtains closed, wanted to keep the lights off, just wanted the TV on. And it just drug you down, maybe into a depression. Like, whew, it was just as heavy. So now you're moving on. You're not stuck in, um, you've already figured out your answer. And you're moving on to get your sunshine back, to get your energy back. And it's like this new moon cycle, this full moon and the new moon. And Libra moon is all about bringing stability. It's it, every single person on this earth right now is moving towards stability. Now, stability, um, I don't want you to get that confused with, you know, if people say, well, my person's not bringing me stable offer. It, it doesn't matter if it's with a person or without a person. If it's without a person, then the universe is showing you you're going to be, you're moving on to something stable on your own or something different. However, the Libra moon is bringing everybody stability, whether it's with a partner or with, without. Back to it. <clears throat> you are moving on to happier times, your sunshine, your passion. It's like you're, you lost yourself in this person, Libra, and you're finding yourself again. This person may be not only toxic with money, but toxic with like emotions, emotionally abusive, or verbally abusive and you're coming out of it and I'm so proud of you and you're moving on to your new passion with your new person and it's beautiful the judgment call has finally been made you finally made a decision and you left so you could have the Sun so you could open the curtains and see the Sun and the sunlight again and I feel like you're gonna you're starting to slowly get your energy back of that kind of peppy, happy person that you used to be before this person trapped you in their energy. I feel like you may be an empath and this person is like one of those energy suckers that drains and feeds off of empaths. <clears throat> All right, so let's clarify this. So by the end of this month, you're telling them you've made this decision, you're leaving, you're going towards your happiness, or if you've already done this, this is finalizing the details, um, or this is making it legal on a legal document. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I do see that you put up with this Libra because... This may have been a high school sweetheart. Somebody that you didn't want to give up on because you've spent so long with them. 
And so you kind of just took their hand 24 seven and didn't question it because it's like you felt an alliance towards them. I also feel like you were raised this way. Like you were raised with the generation that a woman stuck with her man no matter what. They didn't get divorced. They didn't, you know, if somebody was in an abusive relationship, it was just everybody minded their own business and, you know, stayed with inside the family and the woman didn't leave. Look how he's like, come this way. And she's looking back like, okay, I, I really don't want to. And see how she's so young and pretty and innocent. And it's like this guy, I just I just get a bad vibe from this guy here. He's like, we're going over here, come on. And she's like, okay. All young and naive. And it's, it's almost like this person had such toxic traits that they gave you that whole line of, um, everybody's left me. Everybody's left me. You're going to do it too. And so you felt another alliance. Like, I can't be the one to leave him too and disappoint him too and abandon him too. But now you're finally grown up. You've grown and you've, uh, and you've seen. Because time and time again, you're just letting the karmic cycle repeat, repeat. With the magician, you finally took control of the situation. You were in hermit mode. You did have to find yourself and go within and see if you, you had the courage to move on with the chariot. Yeah, you are finally decided, you know what? I'm not being stuck here anymore. I'm in charge of my life. And you're, you took control of the situation. With the chariot and the sun, you're moving on super fast. Relocating, traveling, doing whatever it takes to find that inner light with you again. To bring yourself balance. You're taking on this new passion beginning with this new person. I do see that this person keeps trying to talk to you, your ex or whatever, Libra. The one you're leaving and you're having to, like, find the willpower um, and the self-discipline not to talk to them. Not only not talk to them, but you're in the spotlight right now, like, with either their family or court or something. And it's like, you know, those couples that are in the paparazzi that found out they've, you know, been cheating. And so they're being photographed and everybody's talking trash like, that's the kind of spotlight I feel like you're in. But you're, you guys are just keeping your head down and moving forward very fast. Because I feel like you guys did, did let it hinder you from your guilt at first. And you were taking everybody's viewpoints into consideration. And now that all that's gone on and you guys are still okay... You slowed down and did things right and are getting out of this situation if you already haven't. And you're like, there's got to be, let's just slow down. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better solution. So you didn't rush just so you didn't have this um, bad karma against you and judgment against you. And I really do feel like some people had kids in this situation. So um, just know that if you're feeling rushed at this time, don't be because... Balance is needed for you guys to go into it healthy. Yeah. I feel like people were talking trash with this, excuse me, with this nine of wands. Maybe your person was threatening to take you to court. And it had you up at night, um, unable to sleep. Um, I kind of almost get that you may have been scared at this person because you were having to sleep under the same roof and they knew that you were seeing someone else. You're just letting, letting fear of, yep, that's just confirmed. You were letting fear, um, the scenarios that people were implanting in your head, overtake you and like growing beyond the power that they actually had. Okay, so <clears throat> one more card for the final outcome 
of what's going to happen in this scenario because I do see you guys um, having a final call at the end of April and don't worry everything's going to be okay you and your person are going to be together yep what just popped out the wheel of fortune I told you I knew everything was going to be okay everything is starting to work out in your favor why because you you, you listened to your intuition and decided to slow things down and not rush it and not be shady. You wanted to. You wanted to run away into the sunset together and sneak away. But since you slowed down and balanced everything out the way it was supposed to do, everything is coming to fruition. A karmic cycle that you've been stuck in in the loop for, whew, like I get... Some for some of you, it could have just been under a year, but I'm getting heavily eight or nine years. Or some of you even longer because I do get like a high school sweetheart type of energy or I don't know what's up with that, but or somebody that just made you feel small and insignificant. Anyways. This is all about karmic cycles ending. This is about the wheel turning in your favor, meaning uh, good luck. The universe is, it's like you're finally getting balance in what you deserve. You've put in the work, you've been going through bad times, so now you're going to have good times. It's finally your time. And um, this was divinely guided, meaning all this was supposed to happen. And in reality, you could have got yourself out of this karmic cycle whenever you wanted to but again I do feel like this is your twin flame because we did have the four of wands pop out twice so it may be that you guys both needed to learn this lesson to merge together and you are merging this is all happening for you now good news good prosperity everything that you were in lack of is coming like this is beautiful beautiful so, let me know if this um, is your story or if it's not. And even if you just got a few tidbits of it that resonates with, then that message was for you. As always, this is a general reading with lots of energy probably flowing in here. So, it may not all make sense. Um, so, if you do want a personal reading, I will leave the link below. Um, but anyways, yeah. And I will see you guys in May. Bye, Libra. See you later.